Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how the player character can interact with water without any extra external plugins in just a few minutes. All you need is a playable character that can interact with water and a world in which the water is to be placed. Have fun! First, we need to enable two plugins for our game. The first is the normal water pack, which we will use to create the water. The second plugin is the water advanced plugin, which is also included with the engine but only for Unreal Engine 5.6 and above, meaning that it is not available for lower versions in such a simple way. After enabling them, you must restart the editor so that the plugins are ready for use. Then, go to the map where you want to create your water. In my case, I'm creating a new map so that it's easier to understand. There, we'll create a terrain that can be edited so that the water can reshape it, and you can use certain tools that we'll be using in a moment. You can also add a nice material so that your terrain looks like a real landscape. Next, we add our ocean, which can be accessed via the Drop Toolbar widget. There you can create any water-specific areas, such as a river, lake, or ocean. Everything is open to you, and you just have to add the elements on top of it. However, make sure that the water is only slightly below the height of the landscape so that it does not disappear completely, but also does not take over the landscape. Now we need to enable one more thing so that the character can interact with the water, making the game look even more authentic. Enable default shallow water subsystem and you will automatically have interactive water in Unreal Engine 5.6. Now you can make your landscape even more beautiful by adding mountains, caves, and other features to make your world even more exciting. To do this, you can use the landscape tool, which we used earlier to create the landscape. Next, we will test whether our water system is functioning properly. To do this, add a player start actor at the desired location and start the game. If it does not work for you, wait a few seconds, as in my case, because the system may have needed to compile something and therefore did not function initially. Now let's add a river to see if the system works there too. To do this, we'll use the drop-down tool again and use a water river actor and place it in your world. If you hold down the Alt key on your PC on the spline of the actor and then click on it with the left mouse button, you will create a new spline point and the river can be controlled even more.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like and subscription. If you need help with anything, I would be happy to assist you on my Discord server and help you find a solution. Otherwise, I wish you all a wonderful day and much success with your project.